Question 4 of this exercise says, numbers 1 to 10 are written on 10 separate slips, one number on one slip, kept in a box and mixed well. One slip is chosen from the box without looking into it. What is the probability of getting a number 6, getting a number less than 6, getting a number greater than 6, and getting a one-digit number? So as we know that the probability of an event to happen is basically number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. So let's start with the first part, getting a number 6. So as we know that there is only one number that is 6. So number of favorable outcome is 1 divided by the total number of outcomes. So the total number of numbers are 10. So it will be 1 by 10. Now let's have a look into the second part, getting a number less than 6. So a number less than 6 are basically 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So there are 5 favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes that is 10. So it's basically 1 by 2. Now let's have a look into the third part, getting a number greater than 6. So a number greater than 6 are 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 4 favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes that is 10. So on simplifying it, we will get 2 by 5. So that is the probability of getting a number greater than 6. Now let's have a look into the fourth part, getting a one digit number. So a one digit number are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So the number of favorable outcomes are basically 9 divided by the total number of outcomes that is 10. So the probability of getting a one digit number is 9 by 10. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.